Hi guys, this is Sarah from Just Another Story, and as you can tell from above, I am bringing you a review, a video review. This is my second video review. Um, I don't really do video reviews very often because I don't plan them. I just sit in front of the camera and start recording, and so that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so anyways, I am going to um, be reviewing uh, Chopsticks by Jessica Anthony and Rodrigo Corral. This book I received sometime in March. Yeah, earlier in March, maybe end of February. Um, very end of February from Razorbill, which is uh, an imprint of Penguin, um, I believe. Yeah, so this is Razor Razorbill Books. Um, yeah, so they, they sent me this book and I was really excited about it. Um, at first I thought that it was just going to be a novel. Um, but it turns out it's not just a novel, it's not just a book that you read, it's actually like a scrapbook, it's a picture book sort of, um, which I thought was really cool. But I want to read you the little blurb on what this book is about, so that you can kind of get an idea of what I was, why I thought it was a novel. So it says, Glory is a piano prodigy. After her mother died, she retreated into her music. Her father raised her with the goal of playing sold-out shows at Carnegie Hall and across the globe. Brilliant and lonely, Glory is drawn to Frank, who moves in next door. She loses herself in his, his paintings and drawings, mixed CDs, and late night, late night I Am conversations. Soon, Frank becomes both her connection to the world and her escape from reality. Before long, Glory is unable to play anything but the song Chopsticks. F and G notes moving closer together and farther apart. Now Glory has disappeared, but nothing is what it seems. And we must decide what is real, what is imagined, and what has been madness all along. So yeah, so I was like, wow, this is going to be a really great book. Like, uh, I was really excited, I was really curious. Um, and then I get it, and it's beautiful. First of all, it's a pretty big book. Like, it's pretty, it's square. Um, it's a rather large book. I love the cover. I think the cover is beautiful. I'm looking at the, the screen here to see what it looks like, sorry. <laughs> um, and I love like just the chopsticks at the top. Um, I don't know, I just thought the cover was brilliant. Um, then there's the synopsis right here. Um, and just little like, I guess, reviewers, uh, like blurbs and like their, their bits um, on what they thought. Um, I enjoyed Basically, the presentation of this book was what impressed me the most. Like, the story itself is okay. Like, it's not amazing. It's not horrible. Like, it is a good story. But the way that it was told was what really makes this book great. And what, like, what makes it so cool. And if I can, like, show you... Um... Like, it's just... They're just pictures. It's this giant scrapbook. Maybe I can hold it like this, yeah. Of story like it, I just thought it was so cool and then it's like these see if you can see like because glory goes missing she goes missing at the beginning of the story and so there's these video clips of news anchors and it says breaking news and like there's Fox and NBC I think yeah and then it says like down here it says to cops trying to get access so there's just like this the story's told in like just amazing ways and then they so they have this picture of this news anchor guy I don't know who he is um, and then it starts with like her going missing like Glory whatever her last name is Glory Fleming <laughs> um, she's gone missing and she's known across the world because she is this amazing pianist at only 16 years old and then there's like newspaper clippings and like musical scores um, that tell this story and like more photos and like there's scrapbooks like it's this one page here um, it says here like it says photos which is a photo album right and then it goes and opens into like the photo album which also is telling a story in itself which I thought was amazing like this was really cool this took me maybe an hour to read this book maybe a little bit longer um, but just like these, it's the story of her life, basically. So you get background of Glory's life, and 
like just what happened this I thought was really cool because her mother passes away so they have a Christmas card of the first year of one year and then they have a Christmas card of the next year which is this is her mom and her dad or her mom this is her mom and her and the following year it's of her and her dad and they look really sad and really somber but here they look really happy and really excited so it was quite interesting and just really like really amazing and then just like menus and just the way this story was told was absolutely fantastic and again here's another newspaper clipping and it's underlined in red I guess what the important bits are so yeah it was really cool um then the, here's the IM chats that you get to see This review is this is getting a little bit long. I might end this um, soon, but I just really want you to like take a look at this book and just see what, like, why it was so cool. Um, throughout the book, there are like in the I am chats that you um, that you got to see. Sometimes there are. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, they'll have like URL links to YouTube. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really see it. Anyways, um, I'm. I never went to them. I often wondered if I should have gone to them and if that would have told the story a little bit better. But when I'm reading, I'm not by my computer and I don't really have time to do that. So, um, but there's lots. But I did find that I did go and listen to some kind of version of Chopsticks um, while reading this book. Anyways, her, this book is okay. Um, the story is okay, like I said earlier, but it's the way that it was told that I thought was so creative and so amazing. And this is a book that I'll probably will keep forever because it is kind of, it's beautiful, like, it's a beautiful book, um, like, this is just the way it's, like, the way it's told, you get to really use your imagination and kind of develop your own story with it, like, you're kind of guided a little bit, but you get to decide, basically, like, what certain things mean and what happens, so I thought it was really cool, um, maybe there, there's, I don't know, I just thought it was really clever, and I'm, I would like to see more of this kind of book, actually, because I think, um, they'd be fun to kind of discuss and you can kind of 